day eight of my million dollar journey. I have to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the comments that you posted. It brought me to tears. And I gotta keep it 100. <clears throat> I mean, I gotta keep it a million. As soon as I post it, that little voice, you know, the mean one, the critical one came out. I call her Bertha. She's not nice. What, a million dollars? You need to sit your old self down. A million dollars. <laughs> How you gonna do that? <laughs> How you gonna do it? <laughs> Are you high? You need to get high. You need Jesus. Why she got to be so mean? That's all right. All it is is my brain doing its job by trying to keep me safe because I'm stepping outside my comfort zone and my brain is like, what are you doing? So of course, I had to go to work right away working on my mindset muscles. Get behind thee, Bertha. Get behind thee. Not today, Bertha. Not today. So. I do affirmations, visual, visualize, I look at my vision board, I get in that feeling place of having that million, seeing it and feeling it. I also listen to podcasts and YouTube videos of people who have achieved what I want to achieve and more. I get reminders to my phone telling me I am confident, I am abundant, I am lively, and I am grateful. Alexa even helps me out. Alexa, who am I? Tiffany, you are a millionaire. Huh? <laughs> I do all this because whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Mm. All right, I want to hear from you guys. Put it in the comments. Do you have an inner critic? Do you have a mean little Bertha like mine? How do you get over it? How do you make Bertha be quiet? Put it in the comments. And I'll also put in the comments some resources of things that I use to make Bertha be quiet. All right. Y'all have a million dollar week. I know I am. <laughs> I'm going to have a good week. All right. Bye.